the structural changes found on imaging do not always cause your pain. Sometimes they do. A lot of the times they can. But it's the fact that a lot of places will make this assumption that if you have pain in the shoulder and you get an MRI and that shows that you have a rotator cuff tear, those must be exactly, that. it must be. What else could it be? Here's the problem, is that unless you have done a proper physical assessment and workup to actually load and stress that supraspinatus tendon to see if it is painful under load, to see if your brain is actually perceiving pain from that supraspinatus tendon, you can't match up the, that structural diagnosis and your pain. You need that other piece of information, which is, is the brain perceiving that tissue as painful? So, that being said, when somebody comes in, whether this is from myself, they have had a non-response, or they come and they've had a non-response at a different clinic from different providers, when we are discussing our more interventional approaches, so our injections, surgery, those types of things, a lot of the times what I believe is the reason that those responses were not positive and not seen is because the previous healthcare team did not properly diagnose what tissues were causing pain. So again, it's not that the rotator cuff tear or the degenerative disc disease is not, it, it's not that it's not there because it was there, it is found on imaging, but the missing link is that that's not what was actually causing that patient's pain. So if you've got the rotator cuff tear on imaging and you get a steroid injection into the rotator cuff or you get a PRP injection into that supraspinatus tendon and it doesn't help your pain, then one of the potential reasons is that that supraspinatus tendon was not causing you pain. And let that sink in again. That place might not have been causing you pain in the first place.